let's see what we can find in the garden. You all are my assistants today. So when butterflies go through their life cycle, when they first come out of the chrysalis as a flying butterfly, they're fresh and every scale is perfect. And an adult monarch lives for about a month. So over the course of that month, we get rain, we get wind, we get leaves blowing, and the scales get knocked off. So they're getting blown by these northwest winds as they empty out of Canada, which is as far north as milkweed grows. So that's why they occur that far north. And they get out to the coast and they follow it south. Everything's hunky-dory, no big deal. All of a sudden, they end up on the Cape May Peninsula and look at this big body of water, the Delaware Bay. They get bottled up. Big numbers concentrate here. So that's one of the reasons it's so important for us in this area, especially, to create habitat, pollinator gardens like this one. So not only are the monarchs making this amazing migration, and they go all the way to Mexico, the mountains, that's where they have to winter. But birds are migrating as well, dragonflies. Uh, you see it all here. We're all nuts about butterflies. And that's kind of what I looked at for years, and it's why I garden for wildlife. And yeah, there were bees and wasps and stuff, but I didn't really pay attention to them. But the other pollinators are in just as much trouble as our butterflies. Look at all these pollinators. Can you see the naked eye? It's just amazing. 